How to add read more button in your Google Sites. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how to add a read more button like this one uh, in your Google Sites. So if we just go ahead and view the site here and we click on this, it's just going to go ahead and take us to a page where we can actually read more about it. So how do we actually apply this? It's actually very simple and easy to do. And I will show you step by step how to do so so you don't get lost in the way. So let me just get exit out of the, uh, the preview and we can just get started. So I'm just going to delete this um, section here just so we can start from scratch and we can just go ahead and add the section again. Now, I need to note that you will need to create a page separately with the content that you want to um, link to once you add the read more button. So for example, I have this random blog just for testing and I have pages about purple and green or blog posts about purple and green. Okay, so you need to create a page and have it available in your Google sites uh, where you can just go ahead and add the content in it. And this is going to be where the read more button is going to lead to. Anyways, what we can do now is just go to the home page again. And now let's say we want to add a you know preview for the uh, blog post that we have. So I'm just going to click on insert here on the top, and then I'm just going to add the four uh, uh, content blocks here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that right here at the bottom. And then we can actually go ahead and start adding images to them as well. So we can just go ahead and click on select image. I don't really have one, so I will just go ahead and upload one actually. So let's just go to explainer media and let's say green. And here I'm just going to upload purple. Great, so now we need to add some text. So in the text, you will need to just go ahead and type in normally like you would. So any text that you want really. So we can just go ahead and add uh, green as a color. And then we can just go ahead and add the read more. Now that we added the text, so you'd want to add a preview. It's, it doesn't really matter how long it is. This is just an example, uh, but you can add a preview. And then once you feel like this is enough for the preview and you want to add the read more, just go ahead and type out read more. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you can just feel, feel, sorry, feel free to format the text however you like, the font and everything. And then what you need to do is just highlight read more and nothing else. Just make sure you highlight read more. Once you highlight read more, you want to just go ahead to insert link, which should be in the options above. Click on that. And then you would want to link it to the page that you want, which is in this case green. So just go ahead and add the green and click on apply. Now you can also add an external URL link to whichever site that you want. It does not really matter, but I'm just going to link it to one of the pages that I have and click on apply. And now you can see that it is actually underlined and now it actually should redirect us to that page. Let me just do it one more time for the purple here. Um, this is a blog post about the color purple. And then we can just go ahead and add the read more. Um, you can also, you know, you know, change how it looks like you can do this or you can do whatever you want. Uh, really just type it out however you like. You can also only make it bold and you can just go ahead and add the link and select the page that you want and click on apply. And now if we just go ahead and preview our site, we should see that we have our uh, blog post preview and if we click on read more for this one it's just going to take us to the page for our blog post and if we just go back to purple and click on read more here it's just going to redirect us to the page for purple so this is pretty much how to do it uh, this is very easy to do it's very simple and hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching